Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices, starting with the DAX here. On the DAX we've got two counts, we've got a bullish count and we've got this triangle count. So the triangle count is wave 3 here, and you can also have wave 3 here, but um, it still doesn't change the overall count. So we have an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, a D wave, and an E wave for wave 4 triangle. And the other count is that we have wave one up here with an A and a B and a C for wave two here. And then we'll continue to move up here in the bullish count. In this particular count here for wave D, we'll be looking at wave D in three waves. There's an A and a B and a C wave here. In the C wave, there'll be five waves. We've got one and two and three and four. And we'll be looking for the fifth wave. So if I go into this chart, intraday chart here, you'll see that we've got... Um, wave A here, wave B here, and then wave C would be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 moving uh, up here. This has moved back to the 12... Uh, 650 which is an important level because it's halfway between 5 and 8 here if that became the retested resistance for any purpose any reason then you'll need to be on the short side but uh, let's just go into the one hour chart here and get that strategy together here so um, so we were looking for wave 4 to pull back and that pulls back to the 38.2 percent retracement level is that okay Bit you can refine that, but 38.2% is here, so we're in the right space here at the moment. Um, if I've made a mistake here, there could be one more little move down and then a move up. Now, if, if that's the case, um, then on the short side, uh, the market would normally come down and bounce, and that's what it's doing at the moment. Then it would move through here, and then it can move straight back up here. But But then if that reference point low here, that's where you put your short trade under that. If it's breached at that point, then you can go short from there. Otherwise, we can expect to have uh, five little waves moving up into this base here, probably around the 12,850, maybe to the 129 here in that, in that regard. That's what we'll be, be looking for. Then we'll be looking for that top there. In both cases, um, even in the bullish count, if I go to the to the bullish count we'll also be looking at um, a move back at that point too because if we looked at this as wave one here and an a and a b and a c here then up for one and back for two here then the move up here would be one and two and three and four here and five up here and then we'd still get an a and a b and a c pulling back 50 60 percent here um, so in this case it can move up in the other bearish case we'd see it move down further so we will look after this five waves here is completed we'll look for short trade strategies they may not get us very far they might may get us to here but they may also get us further down so we need to uh, get that um, uh, advantage potential uh, trade there on that so that's how that's going to play out the AEX is looking more bullish um, it's just moved higher compared to its move down through here. We've been viewing this here as bullish and also in the triangle pattern as well. The bullish thing has taken over, but in this case here, we've still got wave, we've got wave one here and wave two here. Then we've got one and two and wave three here. So we're into wave four at the moment and then wave five to push up here. So that would still move up. That can also give us more potential to the upside here as well as if we pull back to uh, a wave four here and I'm quite sort of happy with drawing it like this I mean we can move it into the triangle place here um, but let's just go in to have let's look at this little trend here a little in a bit more detail here on the four hour chart here we've been tracking both of them this move up here is wave one or wave a wave b here and then one and two here and three here and then we'll be looking for four and five to move up higher here so on the hourly chart here we can view it like this here so as a b wave here we'd be look, still looking for one two three four five to get wave c here or we'd be looking for wave three so that wave three can be moved up into here and we can do we have a wave c in here no we don't but uh, we'll just move that up there as well so, So we've got to work through this, but this one here appears to be more bullish here. So uh, just save that. Um, 
at worst comes here. I think that the way four is squashed into this little space here already, so we can see one and two and three and four and five here. So wave four can pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree. So it can pull back down, one more move down here, but it can also move straight up from here as well. Um, and uh, the move up, up here will be, um, how far will it go? Um, I mean, really, what have we got here? I mean, we've got the extension in wave three, so it can be really it can be the same distance as wave one here. So it could move up to the 580 here, but we'll count those five waves up as it moves up. Um, of course, this number here, the 572, is going to give it a bit of a rough time here as well. So expect a correction across this level here. Um, so any stops here would have to be below this point here okay or below this one if it comes back down this has been driven also um, uh, by Unilever so I just want to have a quick look at Unilever here so this is the daily chart here we really only talked about it up here until the corrections done I should have brought it back in sooner but this is basically wave A here wave B here um, wave uh, one two three four five here so we've got an a and a b and a c here and this is looking very bullish here so in terms of the elliot uh, in terms of the trading levels pattern just a small version here the arrival the reaction here in three waves and then the first high above the level here which is always in five waves here and then we would have the correction coming back down into this space before moving off so in this classic trading levels pattern here we're just here at the moment so this move up here can be counted as uh, one and two and three and four here then one two three four five here for what so this is all of wave one and back for wave two here and um, let's just go to the four so so we'll still be looking for wave three four and five coming into this space here so I'll just check that on the four hour chart so from the low here one and two and one two three four five three one two three four five so it is that's wave one abc for wave two here i can't think i need to spend some time on that but i don't know if this is one and two and three and four and five to here and then we have an abc back here um, and then push up or we've got all of this as one and two and we push up uh, from here move back slightly here but either way um, let's just uh, do this here so that's we should find support in amongst all of this here so 50 60 shouldn't come back past that space there so we don't need all of that I'll clean that up later but just this is presenting on back on the daily chart here this is presenting a bullish pattern here that needs to complete itself up here for this market the the FTSE I still don't have any clear patterns here for this so and I don't have um we were looking for that top then that top and then bring it down to this top if that's breached by all means go to the upside here um, I can't take on a short trade here until we've got a reference point low below the 7650 here which is the halfway mark between 5 and 8 here so there's nothing I can do here at this particular stage here with this here and we need to allow this to play out because it still looks corrective to me in terms of an A, B, C for the A wave, an A and a B and a C for the B wave and then five waves up here for this and we, there may even be a trap in all of this too so don't over trade it there may be just a move up into here in five waves following the, the DAX and the A EX and then dropping back here so we have to take the trade but um, we, you have to keep a tight stop on it get it to break even first um, and be mindful of that here so don't have a clear a real clear pattern for this at the moment the um, MIB here um, it's kind of had a bit of a look around um, it looks like it's being squashed between um, uh, uh, Intesa, the bank, and being bearish, and um, you know, looking at Intesa as well here, uh, just on this uh, four-hour chart here, we've got a really nice, basically, triangle pattern here. We've got five waves down here, so we're going to see 
a bit of a move up, but it can drop lower from here. This is an A and a B and a C and a D and an E wave in Elliott terms. And this should be the fifth wave here, but I don't know if this is the fifth wave going to end here and we go straight up. Um, or we've got this down as one and two and three and four and five here. But we are being weighed down by the banks here, but we are being supported. This is in a rock and a hard, this is the MIB here on the four hour chart. It's being squashed um, by, um, uh, um, well, the electricity company and all that's not really giving us any sort of leads here, but, um, uh, any here, the oil and gas company here. This appears to be um, uh, a bullish pattern here. So it still could be an A wave here. This is a four hour chart, an A wave here, an A and a B and a C for the B wave and then down for the C wave here. I don't know yet that just yet. I need to see this. I know why the resistance is here. That's 1650. That's a medium level. It's halfway between um, the 15 and the up, upper levels up here. So I just want to, I will keep an eye on this here, but if we can get um, crude oil still needs to go to the upside. So we, we get a, a break to the upside here, then I'll know that um, this has got more of a more of a bullish scenario occurring yet. Don't go buying this just yet though. Um, this is the medium level here, 6, 615, 1615. So if we can get a uh, support on that that's fine so that will sort of work its way out a little bit and we've got the luxury market here um, uh, uh, LUX here this is a daily chart here it's just to show you that this is bullish and still got further to go uh, here to the upside it can pull back Um, I just need to do some work on this um, if you want me to. If you're looking at this market, then let me know. But I'm just showing you the luxury goods and the oil markets are pushing this um, higher. And um, and then we've got the banks pushing it, uh, pulling on it lower here. So... Um, so this is why it's in a bit of a rock and a hard place. We get this in Australia a lot. We get the mining and the banking because that's all Australia is. It's just a, it's just a mind, really. I mean, I get stones thrown at me for that for sure because it's um, it's much more than that. But that's where the weight is in the markets at least. Um, I still don't have a clear break here. What we can do now though is we can take this high here and place it down here. Don't pay any attention to this wave one and two here because as you remember that this can also be wave one down to here from here and wave two to here, then wave one to here and two to here as well. So we can have a, uh, a bearish pattern here. And this, um, this, so I really shouldn't be labeling it at, at all just yet. What I can see is that I can see this is an impulse wave down here, and this is an A and a B and a C is a corrective move here. So technically, we should come down here further, but I don't particularly want to short because we've got five waves up here. This can also be an A wave here, a B wave here, a C wave down to the 61.8% mark here, and then move up from here. So we're just going to have to see um, once we can get clear on what the DAX is doing, if that's going to be a triangle, if it's a triangle, then um, in a few more sessions, it's going to complete that wave D and then it's going to move down from that point. So let's just have a quick look at the DAX again. So if the DAX here on the, just go to the daily, if this is correct, we've got one more little move up here and then we've got a, we've got this pull down through here. So if that's going to be the case, then that's going to play out on this as well. So that will give a rally back up here over the next few sessions. And then we're going to see four, five come into this space here and then push up from here. So <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I just don't see any trend here, you know, and I don't want to get you into something and then just get chopped up. So we just have to wait for, for this. You'll have to look at other markets to trade for the time being. There's just, it's just not, <clears throat> it's just not giving us anything at this stage. I mean, it has given us, it's just the hourly chart here, it has given us this high here. So support, nice tested support on the 22,000 will be, we can go long at that point. Um, 
but um, this here being an A and a B and a C wave here um, tells me that we should be making a new low below this one here, but only down to the 61.8% mark. From B to C here, we should be looking at five waves. So um, yeah, still in a rock and a hard place here. We know that group one above, group two below is our range here for the corrective activity. And we need this as resistance or we need this as support to get our trade in here. Otherwise it's just too, <clears throat> it's, it's kind of like a market just waiting for just waiting to complete its pattern and wait for another, you know, wait for the next move. And that's the thing with corrections. Corrections are things that we do need to understand and, and treat with care because they are, corrections are the things that take our money. Um, but at the same time, they are where the next trend is going to be engineered from. So they're really more important than the actual trend itself. So because the the correction is an accumulation uh, process uh, part of it and the trend is the distribution part of it. So um, but I, I just don't have any answers here just yet for all of this. But the good news is, is that, you know, um, we had the five waves up and we had to wait for an ABC correction, but this move down through here was in five waves. So then I figured that would get three waves and then we'll get five waves. So we're, we're, we're kind of you know, this is the thing with corrections. We get so that they just do our head in because they take so much time and we're impatient. But we are two thirds of the way, more than two thirds of the way through this particular pattern now. So um, a bit more patience for, for this and um, uh, we'll be on our way. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.